It's what I love about riding electric. There's no vibration in the powertrain. It's the one time I feel truly present. It's the unpredictable. You have to be present. Anticipating, staying connected, nothing separating you from the road. It was important to create something to fit our local landscape. The geometry is quite adaptable. To have that agility with some off-road capability, it's been a lot of fun. This is the NKD. Hi, my name is Michelle Nazari. I'm the founder and CEO, as well as the creative director at Fonz Moto. We started Fonz over a decade ago. The reason I started the business is I was already working in automotive and manufacturing. We built electric vehicles, including electric buses and coaches. And I absolutely love motorcycles. I have ever since I was a kid been a rider. And so I kind of just married those two things together. And that's how Fonz kind of began. The NKD was always going to happen. Pretty much everyone in our company, we're all motorcycle riders. We didn't come from scooters. So it was always in the product roadmap to make an electric motorbike. We'd played around doing electric motorcycle conversions, but the NKD was the first Australian electric motorcycle that's actually production, which is really exciting. Fun started in 2010. We launched our first production bike in 2015. Back in the days, we were only a few people, and now we are a proper team. At Fons Moto, we are all coming from the motorbike world, so we always wanted to deliver a proper electric motorbike. We wanted an agile and versatile bike, something compact, powerful, with a proper range that we could manufacture in Australia. We've been working out of our much-loved uh little facility in Redfern which we've been in for about four years now and we decided to take the leap and move into a purpose-built production facility which is located in Alexandria so this new space is a micro factory we've upped our capacity by around fivefold um, it's carbon neutral which is really exciting and it's I guess the wonderland that we really wanted it to be. Supply chain issues have really wreaked havoc on the automotive industry. However, being made in Australia with the NKD, uh, we overcome a lot of those challenges and this worked to our advantage because we were able to build locally. And so for the small amount of parts that do come from overseas, we were finding ways with our logistics just to make it happen. The production process for cutting the body kit involves an automation system. This loads the material before the fibre laser fusion cutting process begins, and it uses a beam with a shielding gas of nitrogen. It's basically a light magnification using thousands of watts to fusion cut the material. So the frame that we're using, it's a chromoly TIG welded frame. We chose chromoly for its high tensile strength, lightweight and durable properties. We work closely with local talent, and I love that sense of community that we have with our suppliers. The thing that attracted us about Fonz is the fact that it's electric. Um, for us that's a big thing because we are very environmentally friendly um, and we're all about sustainable living so it made sense. But also the fact that it's made in Australia was a big factor. Uh, we really want to um, support Australian businesses um, and not sort of support things that are imported in because obviously that has a carbon footprint as well. Um, and, and also just supporting female businesses, that's sort of a big thing for us. So it really ticked all the boxes for us. So what makes the NKD so special, I think, is that each bike is custom built to spec. So that basically means that no two NKDs are ever the same. It really gives a personalized product to people and really works well with electric technology because people have different requirements and we can kind of plug all of that components and all of that technology together to create exactly the perfect spec for that person. One of our current builds on the production line is for a New Zealand customer who wants to do a trip around the North and South Island. We added Type 2 charging options as charging stations are becoming more available and useful for people who want to charge faster and travel further. The Fonz NKD goes up to 103.9 seconds. It does that via like a 13.5 kilowatt belt driven mid-drive motor which is positioned in between the swing arm pivot points. The mid-drive motor, together with our overall 
naked design using an ultra lightweight chromoly frame gives it an extreme talk. So quiet, I can hear everything, I can hear everyone. It's a lot of fun, it's super fast. Like you actually go from zero to whatever in nothing, no time. So it's a lot of fun. The naked motorbike can go up to 200 km range using a 7.1 kilowatt hour power pack, but most of our customers choose the 100 km range option, going from home to work to the beach and so on. So my NKD, for the most part, I use get around town, get myself to work, get myself home from work, and sometimes every once in a while, I use it just just jump on and have fun, cruise around on it. And my son, my 10-year-old son, is always asking me, Dad, let's, let's go for a ride. So sometimes we use it for a joy ride as well, get the boy on the back. <laughs> I think the thing that attracted me was, well, it's an electric motorbike, first and foremost. I like the design of this bike a lot. Well, I did like the idea, the, the fact that it was born or created, made in Australia. So those are things that really attracted to me about the bike. On average, Fonts owners ride about 15 kilometers on a day. However, some of our techie nerds, such as me, like to push it to the max, anticipating stops and starts, using the regenerative braking system to its full potential. What feels really different about riding an electric bike is um, hearing what's going on around you, especially if you're riding out of the city and um, just experiencing a ride without vibration. It's just an awesome all-round fun bike and it's got insane power. 